I had a very clear image of this kind of dreary, tired traveler who's been on the road for maybe years, and he's stumbling along a very dusty road. It's been an arduous travel. He's not sure where or why he's where he is, but he comes upon a, a fire ritual, or a group that's gathered around a fire. And he sees them, and somehow he's drawn to that. And there's a man there uh, dressed in Indian clothing, and he's just directing people as they put offering into that fire. At that moment, he has a moment of realization, and it, it encompasses everything that he's experienced and everything he's witnessed, and yet it comes down to this little group of people next to a very dusty road gathered around fire. I've had the great fortune to work with all of these musicians in different settings and different venues, but they've all worked with me and brought so much each time I've had that opportunity. One, two, three. Each of them are just such a fine, uh, you know, spirited uh, musicians and technical musicians. So I, I think I would I look for both a high technical skill in their instrument or their voice, and this incredible spirit that they can bring to the music. Uh, we all knew we were on this journey of putting this piece together and performing it under very short rehearsal time. The escape artist was a metaphor for this person who wants to run, escape his past, and yet finally has to meet up with it. I think it's very apropos of uh, what's going on in the world right now. And it's important to say something. As musicians, we have a responsibility. This is a story about redemption, and nobody needs redeeming more than 21st century mankind, let's face it. But, you know, when you look at that paper and, and they talk about, you know, giving this financial bailout, really what we need is the spiritual bailout. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's what this is about. Just check on a couple of uh, cues, possibly. The beauty is the process, I'd say, and we could almost say that in a spiritual quest as well. You get some fruition, but what you've really done is traveled the path and worked through those obstacles, and that's really what it's about. I was inspired by thinking of a spirit who actually hasn't taken birth yet. Uh, but So I was thinking of that soul waiting before it takes birth, and that this, the overture called Be Warned is shouted out by the chorus and everyone. Be warned! Be warned that as you take this human birth, don't squander it. Don't take it lightly. Be warned. Your life beckons you and your fate and your will. No one. Music has this incredible ability to communicate things we can't say. When we can't find words, when we can't find the way to express ourselves, often music is a way. I mean, I love making beautiful music and intricate rhythms and uh, virtuoso singing and playing. And yet I felt that in the piece Agony, 
there had to be a place in the opera that just is like as dark and as suffering as can be. There has to be a point where it's just like, ah, it's so kind of painful and ugly because the guy has to suffer through, as we all do at certain points in our life, I think, just the worst, the darkest moments, but that even through the darkest and the direst, there is hope, there is light. Dharma combat, again, is inspired by my visit to the Drepung Monastery outside of Lhasa. And I saw these um, monks in, in pairs talking to each other. They go, blah, 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 blah. So they would uh, literally make a statement, it was like a debate, and then send it to the other one. And try to top that. Rapa wrote, the reward is to die without regret. While you're here, when you have the possibility of human birth and of human consciousness and energy and intelligence, use it in the most positive way you can now. Don't wait.